All right, you guys, it's the last Wednesday of July, which means it's an Ask Rachel video blog. I'm taking a question from one of you. And you guys, this is kind of a special Ask Rachel, because listen, it's the end of July and Baby Girl Cruise is coming very, very soon. And so our vlogs are gonna be switching up. Our time together is gonna look a little different, but don't worry, I'll have another video blog explaining all of that for you while I'm out on maternity leave. But I'm not gonna do Ask Rachel questions through maternity leave, so. This is it. Who's the lucky winner of the Ask Rachel video blog? I'm just kidding. Get this baby out of me. It's making me crazy. So this month's question comes from Twitter and Rachel asks, to buy or build your first home, question mark. I won't be there for probably four years, but just curious your opinion. Well, listen, when it comes to buying a home, I do have some parameters in general, okay? Number one, I want you to be completely debt free and have three to six months of expenses saved in the bank. Some of you hate me for that. Like, I wanna buy a house now. But listen, having no payments and an emergency fund, you're gonna go into home ownership so much less stressed than if you're trying to like do all of this and pay off credit card debt and you take on a mortgage and then you're heating and air brakes, all the above. That's your foundation. <laughs> Foundation of a house, foundation of your financial life. Also, I want you to have 10 to 20% of your down payment in cash that you can pay. Number two, your monthly payment should be no more than 25% of your take home pay. It's a little conservative, I know, but just try to get in that range because that's ideal so that your house doesn't become a curse, that it's a blessing and you can enjoy it. Because when half your paycheck is going to your mortgage payment, that's miserable. And when you're getting your mortgage, make sure to get a 15 year fixed rate mortgage. None of these adjustable rates or balloons, none of that fancy stuff. No, 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 no. Fancy in that world means you're paying a whole lot more and it's very risky. Now, for a new home, typically speaking, you're going to pay more, okay? And you have to watch out because a lot of neighborhoods, or especially where I live, they give you a couple of floor plans you can choose from. That's how a lot of neighborhoods are building stuff, especially if it's like quick builds. And you get like different packages and you can do upgrades. And all my friends that have done this, they end up spending a whole lot more completely busting their home budget. Oh yeah, well, we'll add that granite or we'll add those, those knobs. And they just kind of upgrade here and there and then it ends up being so expensive. So really, really watch out and keep control of yourself if you are doing a new build. Just some thoughts for you, Rachel, but happy home ownership in four years. It's pretty exciting, but I'm glad you're thinking about it ahead of time. So many people just emotionally go into this purchase. So seriously, the, the things that you're thinking about and planning out, good for you. We should all be doing that. So again, you guys, no more Ask Rachel's for a little while, but make sure to check out my next couple of video blogs. I'm going to be giving you uh, just some info because Baby Cruz may or may not be here very, very soon. Hopefully will be. Please. Hey YouTube, thanks so much for watching this video. I call you YouTube. You're not YouTube, you're a person out there watching this. So I appreciate you watching this video. I'd also appreciate if you wanna to subscribe to my YouTube channel and get some fun videos. So while I'm out on maternity leave, there's gonna be new videos coming. So make sure you subscribe and check out this other awesome video.